<coughs> Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do! My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right?
would you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said, you must have run away and you'd probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with a norigami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. <laughs> Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Call the cops! Oh. Oh. 
I'll see you again, asshole. Are you alright? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? 
None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, it must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Harry comment, the victim was lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland.
Harry County. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Norman Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Impressive. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Orchid pollen. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. A dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Ari comment. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry Connick, there are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence.
good chance that they're the killers. Harry Kerman. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. I seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. We got our origami killers. I want every available man to finding Ethan Mars. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Perfect! Perfect!